In this video, I'm going to show you five creative ways you can turn vocal samples into vocal ear candy. Feel free to either follow along or take notes. Either way, let's get into it. The first thing I want to show you guys is how I turned this into this. Okay, so for this, you'll start by choosing a vocal sample. Try to choose a sample that is at least one full bar. I just chose a sample from my vocal sample pack called Luscious Vocals. If you guys wanna grab it, I'll put a link into the description to where you can get it. So all I did was start chopping the vocal itself, as you can see right here. This is the vocal unaffected. To get this kind of effect, all you have to do is delete part of the vocal sample. So this is basically how I do it. I just highlight it and then delete. I would just do that throughout the whole sample until I got something like this right here. And once I have this, I kind of listen for a part that sounds good to my ears. So for example, this is kind of where it starts sounding kind of cool to me. What I would do then is I would just highlight and I'm just gonna copy it over to a new track. And now what I'm gonna do is highlight and then go to freeze track. Once the track is frozen, then I'm going to flatten. And now this whole sample is actually like this. So then from there, all I did is click on the sample, pitched it down by seven and left the other sample as it was. And that gave me this. The next thing I want to show you guys is how to turn this into this. Okay, so this is probably one of the easiest ways to come up with good sounding vocal chops because you're able to play the sample like you would any other MIDI sound. So to do this, go ahead and choose a one-shot vocal sample. I'm gonna be using a one-shot from my vocal sample pack, but you can use whatever you'd like. Next, you're gonna go to instruments and choose sampler. Okay, so now that we have that, all we gotta do now is drag and drop that vocal into sampler. And now you can start playing the sample like an instrument. You can decide where the sample ends and begins. I kind of chose it right around here. And then here's the fun part. You can add different effects to make it sound however you'd like it to sound. So EQ, delay, reverb, auto filter, saturator, and OTT. Um, remember when you put OTT, just don't put that much. I put like 30% and then I increased the mids, change it from analog clip to soft sign, did a low pass filter, added some reverb, decay, and wet to your taste, some delay, and for the EQ, just filtered out the lows. And then I got this. And again, you can do that with any one-shot vocal sample, and it's gonna be fairly easy to figure out a melody that you like. Another thing I wanna show you guys is how to turn any vocal sample into a pad. I'm actually gonna show you guys two ways to do this. The first way is with stock plugins only, and the second way is with a free plugin. Let's go ahead and start with the stock sounds. So right now I have this. And then we're gonna add delay, reverb, Make sure that the decay is all the way up and that the dry wet is up quite a bit as well. And then you get something like this. And that's one way to get a pad. There's also this free plugin that you can get. It's called Valhalla Supermassive. And I find making vocal pads with this is so much fun. And I just really like it. I think you guys will too. So try it out and let me know what you think. This is what it sounds like with just Valhalla Supermassive on the Lustrous Dotted Eighth preset. And I think I tweaked some of this. I think I tweaked the feedback a little bit. I might've tweaked something else, but this is what it sounds like. And the beauty of this, you guys, is you can actually go ahead and freeze track and flatten. And then you have this beautiful pad to work with. Ah. 
audio is always easier to work with. So, I mean, you can start the pad right here. Just take this out and then kind of have like a slower attack to it. And that's how you make a beautiful vocal pad that you can layer under any track. And if you want to take it a step further with the pads, you can also throw your pads into Simpler. Click on the track that has Simpler, grab your audio track that you want to use, and then just drop it into Simpler. And now you can do this. be more simpler than that you guys try it out let me know what you think okay so this next way you can do vocal chops takes a little bit more time and effort the first step is finding an acapella for this example i'm using an acapella from my song hold on close and it's similar to what we just did you guys you go to instruments go to simpler and drag and drop the vocal into simpler but instead of staying on classic you're gonna go to slice and see this little flag thing looking right here? You can click and drag and choose where you want your acapella to begin and end. Same thing with these, you can move these around, these right here. The effects that I've added is just an EQ, a compressor, and reverb. And that's how I got my vocal chops for my song, Hold On Close. And by the way, you guys, it doesn't have to be a full on singing acapella. You can even just kind of drop something in where you're just talking, maybe even just like mumbling some stuff. You don't even have to like really sing words to start mumbling into the microphone. Just play around with it. You never know what can come out of it. Alrighty, I hope you guys found this helpful. If you do end up using any of these techniques, feel free to let me know. Send me music. I always love listening to the music that you guys send me. And shout out to anybody that has already purchased the vocal sample pack. It does help support the channel and helps me create even more free content for you guys. Alrighty, I'll see you guys on the next one.